this section we're going to look at flexure. Uh, so flexure is uh, typically the uh, you know moment response of the section, and in this uh, kind of subsection we're going to look at the moment curvature response. So in the beam shown in, in this uh, video, we can see that it's going to initially progress, uh, have, have a linear response in terms of moment curvature and, and also um, moment deflections because our curvature are ultimately re related to our deflections. Um, we'll have some cracking then. Uh, at cracking we'll have some additional deflection without any additional moment as the steel engages and then we'll have some additional uh, moment with a different slope and then finally it's going to start curving off until we reach our failure load. So what you can see is we'll have a, a nominal capacity and we'll have a couple different uh, curvature values, so you know the ultimate curvature. Um, so within the flexure section, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at uh, how to calculate deflections. And this is going to lead to our moment curvature discussion. And uh, following our moment curvature, we're going to look at uh, energy absorption. Uh, and then our doubly, we'll look at doubly reinforced sections. And then uh, confinement effects. And then finally, uh, we'll look at rotation and plastic deformation. Uh, as this is a graduate level class, I will expect you to, you know, understand um, ACI methods for nominal design. Uh, so this is essentially our, our rectangular stress block, which you should remember ASFY D minus beta 1C over 2 is our moment, and we can find uh, C simply by looking at our stress diagram with 0.85F prime C. Beta 1C and uh, ASFY.